Here's one of the projects we have in the shop. Customer was sick of all the plastics on the UTV, taking it apart and prepping it because this is a race car that he races. So he ripped them all out, sent it to us, and we're going to tin it all. You can see we kind of redid the floor just to make it easier to tin and stuff. We built some side skids that will go under there. Gonna build a dash, all sorts of tins everywhere. So it's gonna be fun. So this is how I started laying out tins. Use this RAM board. I got it at Home Depot. You just kind of put it up there, and you can mark the back side, and then just cut it out with some scissors, and then you get a rough idea of what you need. It's a lot easier than trying to put the aluminum sheet in there and and figuring it out. So it's been good. It's been a lot faster, and I feel like I waste less uh, aluminum doing it. So pretty cool. Here's one of my first mock-ups of the tin. See, it gives me a pretty good start if I go off the cardboard template over there. I'm hanging over a little bit on the outside. I already put some bends in this right here. Pretty good. Here's the tin all in with the Zeus buttons. Zeus tabs are welded on. And I just gotta Clean it up, bead roll it, make it look nice. Looks pretty good. So I'm laying out the driver's side. I got all the Zeus tabs with the springs on it. <clears throat> I normally mark the holes before I put the springs on it, which is what I did for most of them. But sometimes, like right here, I couldn't get behind it to mark it. So I have these little Zeus center punch deals. So I can put that in there. I can put the other Zeus is in, and I can hammer that, and then it'll mark center. So like I said, got it all Zeus in except for that one spot. Give it a little tap, and that'll mark the hole.
Cut the first piece of aluminum in for the dash. Pretty flat because they sit pretty low in the car, so they didn't want it very high. I raised it up a little bit just so you can look down and look at gauges or something a little bit easier. Had this come up to cover the steering wheel shaft a little bit, but I didn't want it to stay up tight all the way so that you could get your hands in there so you're not hitting your hands on the dash a little inset for gauges and stuff and also the center console will come up at an angle and hit into that and then nice spot for a gps or an ipad something like that